All right, let's all gather around the CPU. Well, it's time for Rick to teach us about the difference between an Apple and a CPU. Now, well, and if you would be so kind as to hand me that bag of turds. Oh, sure thing, Mr. Garrison. Here you go. Thank you, Nana. What a useful bag of turds you are. Wait, what the hell are we gonna do with a bag of turds? Ugh, I shouldn't even ask, even ask. I'm concerned about the mess we've got to make in the garage. Great, now that we have our makeshift lecture hall set up, let's get started. So, CP stands for Central Processing Unit. It's the brain of your computer. Microaggression! Central processing of my square, reset of my square, central processing of my square, central square, Good one. I like a CP that also includes graphics processing and other functions. I like a Swiss Army knife for your computer. Morty, now, an app oh, oh, application processing unit. Oh! Application processing unit colonization processing unit colonization Yeah, that's it now. Imagine you're trying to run a complex video game. The CPU would be like the guy who controls the story and characters, while the EPU is like the guy who draws the graphics and ensures everything runs smoothly. Right? The kernel is like the operating system supervisor. Without it, your computer would just be a bunch of useless hardware. Exit, it's a grunt time, you square. Not quite. That's more like a function that tells the computer how to handle certain tasks, but it is important for optimizing performance. Arm is bad. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Some people prefer ARM chips for their energy efficiency. But I digress. Back to the topic at hand. Turbo boost my square. My square. My square. My square. My square. turn. Sure, turbo boosting can help improve performance, but it also generates more heat and can shorten the lifespan of your hardware. Base clock, my lead net, my lead net, my lead net, Yes. The base clock is the minimum speed at which your CPU can operate, like the starting point for your computer's performance. Prision overclock my square. Where my square? Prision over my square. Prision over my square. Well, overclocking can definitely boost performance, but it's not for the faint of heart. You're essentially pushing your hardware beyond its intended limits. What do you call a thing that is an essential thing to a computer's operating system? Good question. I'd say the kernel is the most essential thing to a computer's operating system. It's like the glue that holds everything together. Kernel? Ugh. Bingo, now you're catching on. So, to summarize, the CPU is the brain of your computer. While an Apple is like the Swiss Army knife of processors, the kernel is the essential thing that ties it all together. Bicetate the chipset. 
Well, updating your BIOS can help improve compatibility and fix issues with your hardware, but it's not something you should mess with lightly. Intel failed. Any reason not chosen at 100 Street is the king of the closest square. There, names and a digit any right to the king of the and this quadrant is a nuts. Then since then the square. Hey, that's a strong opinion. Personally, I prefer the performance of Vidiot Puss over AMD, but it all depends on what you're using your computer for. Bands metal pins a square. Here, it's square. Bands metal. Not quite. The name pins can damage your hardware. It's best to handle hardware with care. Double like data rate colono, right colono, double great colono, great Yes. Increasing your data rate can improve performance, but it also requires more bandwidth and can lead to congestion on your network. Flash the cache is queer! Flash is queer! You are not queer! Well, flashing your cache can help improve performance, but it's not a magic bullet. It's best to optimize your system as a whole for maximum performance. Our purity for it, purity for it, purity for it, our purity for it. So, uh, so, you're talking about lighting. Well, it can look pretty cool, but it doesn't really affect performance. Unless, of course, you're running a nuclear reactor in your computer. Your device has a pending Windows update. Oh, great. Just what we need. Windows updates can sometimes screw things up. But I hope it's not a critical update or we might end up with a brick in computer. With that, the discussion ended and everyone filed out of the garage, ready to face the challenges of their respective computing needs.